Hi, and welcome to the Modern Persian Food Podcast. We are food bloggers, Bita Arabian and Bita Nazim Kelly, and we're here to share with you the rich flavors and fresh ingredients of Persian cooking and how to incorporate them into today's modern lifestyles. We're excited to introduce you to the flavors, tastes, and techniques we use, and also our own cultural stories and perspectives growing up in the U.S. in a Persian family. Thank you for joining us. Today we're talking in episode number 40 about damkoni. Damkoni is a special bonnet or covering for the lid of a pot to try to get a perfect rice. It's a piece of equipment or tool that we use, again, when we're steaming rice. It helps absorb the steam and to get the results of the fluffy rice that's known as our delicious Persian long grain basmati rice. So Bita Jun, hello, how are you? Hi, Bita Jun, how's it going? Good, good. I know we talked a lot about rice overall in one of our first episodes, episode number three, we talked about rice. But today in our micro episode, we're doing a special little focus on the bonnet or the damkoni. What could you tell me about that? Yeah. So you mentioned that it provides a beautiful, fluffy Persian rice. It also assists in making a beautiful, crunchy tadik as well, absorbing any of the extra steam from the pot itself and providing a nice crispy tadik. And damkoni, there are special bonnets that you can get from online retailers that basically covers the lid. But if not, you can use a tea towel. I sometimes use just a few layers of paper towel just to put in between the pot itself and the lid you just have to be careful that some of the extra paper towel or the towel itself it doesn't hang over so you're not catching that on fire or anything so you kind of wrap it up pretty tightly and that's it you do that there are other things that you can use I know like you can make like a specific damkuni that you use every time specifically I know that my mom I've seen has like this basically this straw circle that is wrapped in towel and fabric but yeah damkoni is basically you know it's part of cooking Persian rice and if you don't have a specific one you can definitely supplement with using tea towel or paper towels to get your perfect rice exactly and I do use it whether I'm cooking my rice stovetop or using a rice cooker, I still use one. I don't actually have specific bonnet that has been made, but I know some people, if you can sew, you can make them. I've seen handmade ones, but yeah, many years ago, I used to use paper towels, but I think I had one too many catch on fire stovetop. Oh, you don't have to worry about that if you're using a rice cooker, but I have uh, like certain dish towels in my cupboard that are just for rice. It's my waffle weave yellow dish towels. They kind of soak up the smell. So that's why I have two or three specific for rice. So you place it basically over the pot after the rice and water and whatever method you're using and salt and oil is in there. And then you put the lid on and then you fold up like a present, you fold up the dish towel to really securely hold the lid in so steam doesn't come out. Yeah. You don't want to use a lid that has a steam hole. You're actually holding the steam in as a strategy. Yeah, and to your point, it's like after everything has been absorbed into the rice, basically the second part of making the rice is like all the water and all the salt and oil is everything has been absorbed into the rice. That's when you start to steam and dump the rice. Right. So many, many years ago, you know, when I was new to cooking and Persian cooking, I think I used to cook rice like pasta and I would like lift the lid and stir it. And, you know, if you're around someone that knows how to cook, Persian rice that you are not supposed to lift the lid and stir it. You ruin it. So the whole strategy is to kind of hold everything in tight and to get it just right. Yeah. So yeah. So if you want to learn how to make rice step by step, check out episode number three of our podcast, Modern Persian Food. And hopefully you can try to make some yourself. Thanks, Bita Jun. Thanks, Bita Jun. We'll see you next week for our next micro episode. Bye-bye. Bye. You've been listening to the Modern Persian Food Podcast with Bita and Bita. Thanks for spending time with us. If you've enjoyed what you heard today, consider telling a friend or giving us a good rating. You can subscribe to our show for free on your favorite podcasting app or find us online at modernpersianfood.com or on Instagram for the recipes and information we talked about today. We'd love to hear your thoughts and see you next time.